Hi everyone, I'm Walt Gray. Here's what's happening. A warning after two families in Turlock say a man came to their home asking for their child's DNA information. He said he was with the Amber Alert organization and asked for hair and fingerprints. One of the families say the stranger did not have a badge or any official documents when he came in the garage and used their daughter's online nickname to ask for it. This week marks one year since a librarian was killed outside the North Natomas Library. Amber Clark was shot and found dead in the parking lot. The suspect, Ronald Say, is in jail. He has a court hearing next week. A vigil for Amber Clark is planned for tomorrow. Stockton police arrested a man after they say he tried to carjack a woman. When officers got to the scene, bystanders were holding down the suspect, Elijah Cervantes. The victim says that he managed to get inside her car while she and her three kids were in the car. He was booked into the San Joaquin County Jail for attempted carjacking. Now for a check of your weather forecast, here's Rob. All right, well, we have got uh, some issues today. First of all, we're going to see the patchy but dense fog in some uh, areas. Moving on into the afternoon, if that's when you're watching me, as you know, we've got some clearing and then some mostly calm conditions. Today's kind of one of these gray days where it just doesn't change that much hour by hour. It just really doesn't. But by tonight, you're going to notice something. You are going to get a little bit of rain. And I'm talking about a little bit of rain. Almost all areas, even the foothills, are looking at a tenth of an inch of rain or way less. I'm thinking way less than even that. So wet overnight uh, period, including early tomorrow morning. This does have about a one to two inch uh, range for snow in the mountains. And then we get ready to do it again on your Thursday. That system is also very weak, but that one looks like more in the middle of the day. Uh, looking ahead, I think we are going to get nailed with a system on Saturday, but that one is weak as well. About a tenth of an inch, maybe a couple inches of snow at least. Keep your eye on that one. That does have a lot of Sierra travel impacts, but for the most part, it's a lot of weak storms moving through uh, every couple days or so over the next 10 days.